Okay, so let's look at what um, props are actually about in React and how to pass React props. So essentially, props are just basically um, variables that can be passed down from um, one component that a component can accept and then um, do something with it, maybe display it or um, do a particular thing with it. So that's basically what props are. So without any further ado, let's um get started and see how we can actually make use of these and especially in our breadcrumbs um components okay so in my breadcrumb components which we are arranging on three different com in, um three different components which is breadcrumbs um the contact about and services we don't want the same we don't want the same um, um, information to be displayed in everything. So we can actually take in um, prop right here. Okay, sorry. Now we can actually take in prop right here. And then prop, um, what it basically does, it's, it's um, an object. So now right here, if I should come here and let's say in my contact i then pass something such as let's say um title equals to let's say passing it string which is let's say contact okay i can save this and then right here in this place i can come here now i can look inside of um the prop i can say prop dot so this is title so now rem um, remember if i've not said this earlier whenever we want to use any dynamic um value in the midst of html so like whenever you're using jsx and you want to output a javascript you have to um wrap it in curly braces and then now let's go right here and then i think on our contact so we see this is the original page and then we have contact here now the other components which we didn't add anything it's um takes it as empty and then it doesn't render anything so now let's say instead of prop.title i just clear this up and then save and then right here we won't have anything but if we go to the contact us we see here it says contact now that's because when we were the particular place where we were rendering this we added this parameter and then it accepted it as a prop so basically i can come here and then put something like description it can be any variable so description equals to um contact or let's say our contact info so let's save that and instead of just rendering okay um about us here so we can just come here to have a dynamic value and then we say prop then dot this desc so that automatically takes that in and then renders it so right here instead of okay right here we should have something okay we are having an issue so let's let me try and refresh that let's see if that fixed that okay or not all right so we have prop.des c okay so let's come back okay so we should have um we take the prop.desc so let's see that doesn't render okay what could be the issue so if we should come here okay it should be desc short for description okay and then let's say right we're not having anything okay our uh, contact page we have our contact wants it to all right so that's actually as prop and then in the about page um the about page here change this to about us and then can change it to about okay save and then services we come and paste the same thing so let's say instead of contact we say services and then we come here and say what we do and then let's save that and then all right let's see what that does okay we have the contacts all right then what about the services 
okay right here on slash what we'll do okay and then about then about about us so we see how we've made that a bit more dynamic now another thing we can do is we can take this a bit further and destructure it now since um it's basically more of like an object so i can come here and now the particular um prop you want to actually use so title the first it's title and then the second one is desc for description now these are now destructured so title we are just taking all of these the prop here everything is basically in an object and then we are just destructuring it and then instead we don't need to use prop dots so we can just use the title and the dese directly so if we should save that and we should come here we'll see it still works the same way so there is no error there is no issue so that's basically how to make use of um props now the second thing we're going to do is then um under the team now we're going to accept a prop here also so but then instead of just accepting prop right here we're just going to destructure it directly and we're going to say description now instead of skill team here just going to change this to description okay so description note we haven't passed in any description here so in the um description then equals to whatever description you want us okay um, you want to use our skilled okay what description did i use here i think on the services we have meet our capable team okay and then about our skilled team so that's basically it our skilled team and then save and then i'm just going to copy these and then under year after oh, sorry year so meet our capable team our capable then team okay so let's save that and let's see now okay under the services first once we scroll down here okay we see meet our capable team all right that works and then our skill team okay that works i think we can breathe a sigh of relief all right uh, we're making progress so congratulations if you made this um it so far now we've looked at um props and um the next lesson we're going to be looking at something um a bit more interesting and it's something that okay might um give you a bit of confusion in the first place but don't worry about that i'm going to actually um explain that in the simplest form possible now we're going to be working on um um react hooks now the particular hook we're going to be um learning in the next lesson is going to be um the use state hook and we're going to um look how to implement it in um this particular team component so i'll see you in the next lesson